let's jam out to some music and let's add a custom music disc to Minecraft. Alright, we found some back and jail once more. In this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom music disc to Minecraft. This is going to be on the back of adding the custom sound that we added last time. And it's going to be a very similar procedure, but we also need to add the item as well. So the way that this works is that you actually add a custom sound event for this as well. So we're just going to copy one of our sound events. And this is going to be called the music underscore box, because that is the name of our new music disc and that is going to be music underscore box right here as well we also have the ogg file now once again that is going to be available to you as well for download and that is going to be very important that this one is a mono file so if you have a custom ogg file or a custom basically a custom music disc that you want to create your ogg file has to be in mono. It's basically just that stereo is sort of surround sound so that you hear certain things on the left speaker and certain things on the right speaker. And mono is just, you hear the sound on both speakers at the same time, like in the same volume. Generally speaking, that's like a, <laughs> that's a rough estimate of what that means. And you need it because if it's not mono, then when you actually play the disc, it will be heard in the entire world inside of Minecraft. So if that is an issue that you have, your OGG file is not in mono. Of course, still need to add this to the sounds.json right here. Now for this, what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to copy over the cool sound that is going to be the music underscore disc. However, here we can actually keep the subtitles away. I believe that that is fine. And then we, what you can also do is instead of a sound, we actually want a JSON object right here. And then this is going to be with a name. The name is going to be tutorial mod colon music underscore box. So that's once again, that's once again, the name of the OGG file right here. But then we also have stream colon true. That's what we also want to have, because in this case, the music disc that we're making is a stream. And this is not music disc right here. This is music box. Oh, that would have been a horrible mistake. So this is a music box, right? So this name, once again, has to match with this name right here, while this name has to match with the OGG file's name. That's all that there is to it. Right, and while we're hanging out in the assets folder, we can go to the lang file and actually just quickly add the translation here for the item. So you want to add the music box music disc, right? So this we're gonna just going to call this the music box. And then there's also a description that is added by doing a .desc. And that is then both the description that is being played once you right click the jukebox, as well as a tooltip that appears on the disc as well. And that is an item that we want to add. So we want to go to our mod items class and just add the item. Let's just copy over the amethyst boots and let's change them. This is the music box underscore music underscore disc. There you go. And then the same name right here, music underscore box underscore music underscore disc. Now you can, of course, name it however, which way you like, right? It doesn't have to be this way, but that is okay. And this is going to be a music disc item. Now, it will take in three, four parameters, actually. The first parameter is going to be the comparator value. So this is going to be the value that is output when you have this inside of a jukebox. The second one is going to be the mod sound. So this is going to be the mod sounds dot music box. There you go. And then after the fabric settings, so in the fabric settings, you want to do max count one. And then after the fabric settings, you have the time in seconds. So this is going to be so length in seconds. This is in this case, 16 seconds. So that is also very important that you have this. And that's pretty much all that we need to do right here. Now, for, for completion's sake, you also, of course, want to add this to your models right here because this needs a model. So this is going to be the music box music disc right here. So you should just generate that as well. If you don't have it, it is a normal item model file that you need for this. And we're going to add the texture as well in just a moment. But basically, you know, because we've done the data gem before, uh, we're just going to let this go through. There you go. And just to make sure that this is there, assets, models, item, and we see the music box music disc and you can see it points to the music box music disc texture which we're just going to add quickly as well and this will also be available to use. Let's just see. There we go. And there it is. It's just a music disc with a K on it for Kaumjo. Oh, but before we go in, let's actually add the item to the item group right here. So that's going to be the music disc right here. That's very important. And then there's one more very important thing that we need to do, and that is add a tag. So in the data folder under Minecraft, we want to go to the tags folder and we want to add a new directory called items. Instead of there, we want to make a new file called music underscore discs dot JSON. And this is going to be a completely normal tags file. And I will just copy over the contents of this because in this case, it is just going to be, it's actually not that, it is actually music box disc. It's very important that this is done correctly. So this has to be music underscore box underscore music underscore disc. So basically the name of the item. This has to be the name of the item and it has to be in the music discs JSON file. And that should be that. 
And with all of that done, now let's go into the game and hear if it works. All right, we found us back in Minecraft and let's just right click with the music disc. And there it is. It is playing absolutely phenomenal. And if I move away to here, it is getting quieter and quieter and quieter until it no longer can be heard. And that's exactly what you want. If it does not get quieter, then the OGG file is not in mono. That's very important. And that is how easy it can be to add a custom music disc to Minecraft. All right, but that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new and I'll see you all in the next tutorial. So, yeah.